The tiger is one of Asian culture's most prominent symbols, so it's fitting that they join dragons to parade everyone from Portsmouth Square to Kearney Street for the explosive start of the Lunar New Year celebrations. There are big hopes in the year of the tiger. We really believe that we're going to roar back like the tiger for the entire city and Chinatown. The big announcement at this launch is the return of San Francisco's world-renowned Lunar New Year Parade. Everyone in city leadership huddled onto the main stage to help celebrate, with the exception of Mayor London Breed, who designated Supervisor Catherine Stephanie as mayor in her absence. City Administrator Carmen Chu says San Francisco is ready for the return of this signature event. We want to make sure people continue to celebrate safely, but the thing is that, you know, people, if you are boosted, you've got your vaccines, come on out, come on out and enjoy the city. Enjoy what we have to offer. The last two years have not been kind to the city overall and to Chinatown in particular. Businesses have closed and the AAPI community has endured waves of violence. But at this event, there's a glimmer of a return to some kind of normal. There's still people wearing masks in the crowd, but otherwise it felt almost pre-pandemic. The return of a massive celebration in San Francisco for the Lunar New Year means a return to tradition. People passed out lucky red envelopes and dragon dancers zigzagged through the streets. A parade means they get to have fun with crowds again. Did you miss it? Oh, uh, we you do. We yeah. do, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people stuck at home. A lot of getting, getting canceled on us last year. Dragon dancer Ding Hong and everyone else who will be in the parade is hoping crowds will turn out for the return of the Lunar New Year Parade, February 19th. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.